Let's continue in our finance section and uh, study simple interest. Uh, this is the first part. of investment loans savings sections. Now on uh, section 8.1 uh, we learned percents Now, idea of loans at simple interest. These are usually short term. Okay. So naturally, we always begin with vocabulary. And in this case, we're talking about principal. This time, the principal is, uh, well, this is principal with a P-A-L, is the amount borrowed from a, a bank or sorry about that or finance company Uh, credit union offer the service there are other agencies that often offer higher interest. So those are ones you need to shop around if you're getting a short-term loan. The rate <clears throat> is the percent value Charge for the loan of the principal amount, for the principal amount, I should say. Then we come to time and the number of years. Or ratios. parts of years are stated. 
such as number of months, over 12 months in a year, or number of days over 360 days. All right, now you're saying 360 days. It's called a banker's year. And it leads to a circle. It's an easier number to separate. Um, now, we're talking about simple interest. Here is the formula. All, all examples and homeworks are done on the home screen. Our calculator. Okay, so we're getting the framework here. I know I always take a definite slow time to describe everything. I'm going to discuss the parts of the formula. For simple interest. All right, we have I equals P R T. Well, I represents interest owed. on the borrowed money. Then we have the P. It represents amount borrowed. The R stands for the percent rate charged, and we use decimal representation. And T is time, always in terms of years. Four years. All right, 
So we're reading for this content and we're looking at our formula. Oops, sorry. I thought I had the highlighter on. Okay, some, you'll sometimes hear people say I equals PERT, P-R-T. And that's if you're into accounting, they'll use for short form acronyms to help them uh, keep everything intact. So we're now going to look at some examples here and we'll be using our calculator on the home screen. But remember, we first read for content. We represent those values as part of formula. Our third step is work it out. So um, let's look at our example. And the first ones are leading us by the hand. The principal is borrowed at simple interest. And that's what we read for, because now we're reading for content uh, with rate R and a period T. And it says, find the uh, money uh, borrowed, find the simple interest borrowed uh, for the use of the money. And I misspelled that. Owed is okay. So we know we want um, interest owed. So we know we're using I equals PRT. So I is the 5,000 times the decimal zero four times the one year. In this one, uh, we want interest on. And so in doing that, uh, we figure out, uh, in this case, how interest works. So here we go. We're going to use our calculator. Right. So on our home screen, I'll clear everything and I'll put the 5,000 times the O decimal 04 times the 1. Now we don't really have to enter the 1, but we understand then that for that year, we're going to owe $200 in interest for that loan. So now you have the steps for what we've done. We get the 200, put the dollar sign, and we can safely say that interest owed $5,000 borrowed for one year is $200. Right, so let's do another one. Now we did one in a full year. This one we notice is in months. It is 9,000 at one and a half percent 
for nine years. So what we're going to do is that T then becomes 15 over 12. It's, uh, it's uh, three months over a year. It's a short term note. My R converts to decimal 015 and my borrowed amount is 9,000. So we're going to find interest Oh, so it's I equals the PRT. I equals 9,000 times decimal 0, 015 times 15 over 12. I equals, well, for our calculator entry, we would enter exactly what we typed up as our format for the problem. 9,000 times decimal 015 times, uh, we're going to do now the 15 and then hit our divide sign and uh, do 12 and then our enter. Right, so at uh, we're going to find this value. Again, we're on the home screen. We're going to enter the 9,000 times the decimal 015 times the 15 divided by the 12. And, and we come up with the value of 168 and 75 hundredths. All right, so we're doing excellent, getting information down. So we did one year, 15 months, and of course on your homework you'll have a variety of examples to get comfortable with the material. This one is in days, in days. So now we have to contend with time is 150 days. At for our calculator, we're going to do 150 over 360 because it's a part of a year. All right. And then we have our rate as 8%, which changes to decimal 08. And of course, our P is the amount borrowed. They borrowed quite a bit on this and they want interest owed. Just equals PRT. I equals that 12,500 times the decimal 08 times the 150 divided by 360. All right, we're gonna use our calculator our entry is going to be the values that we wrote just the way we wrote them. Except we're going to do our, our fraction as 150 divided by 360 and then we'll enter. Right, here we go. Excellent. So we do the 12500 times the decimal 08 uh, times the 150 days divided by the 360. Businesses do simple interest loans. And here's our first exposure to a uh, long repeating decimal. We know money 
has two decimal places. Hundreds. Because hundred pennies our money is in two decimal places. So uh, we're going to round. If we round to two decimal places, we get. Four hundred sixteen dollars and sixty seven cents. So we understand uh, that for those days. at eight percent interest. on $12,500 borrowed the uh, interest uh, uh, owed is Four hundred sixteen dollars and sixty-seven cents. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, uh, and you can catch your breath and look at your notes. If you need, uh, we will. Uh, uh, you can uh, replay the video. I'll see you on part B.